Hi everybody, welcome back to Kona. Man, it's been a while and I apologize for that. I had a really, really busy week last week, uh, but we're back and we're gonna carry on solving this great Canadian, French Canadian, I should say, murder mystery. Anyway, we're here in Rosaire's house. Hello, Rosaire. And I have, of course, my winter garments now, courtesy of this guy, because I got him the caribou. I don't think we need anything else here. I could be wrong about this, though, but let's just open the door, get back out here. Look, okay, it's still super duper cold out, but I'm, I'm better equipped for it now, I think. Maybe I could even go into that ice cave with the setup I have now. I've got gloves, I've got the jacket and everything. I should be good. All right, Rosaire's house. Uh, so we went to the Patriots place, which was like down the road. Was it right at the end of this road? Or is the house at the very end of this road that, um, that the auto shop? Remember the auto shop? The old man's cabin had been very generous to Carl. He couldn't there we go. For more. No. That was, that was a very generous trip to the cabin, wasn't it? Okay, let me see. Am I going the right way here? Yes, I am. Okay. So the Patriots house is down here. And then right at the end of this road, I think is that place was like the auto repair shop with the guy that went crazy and had all the signs saying, this is my property, don't come near and stuff like that. You remember? Like all that time ago? I don't know if you remember. I remember because of course I never forget anything. But I'm pretty sure at the end of this is a dead end. It's like a cul-de-sac and then there's the, all the signs and the guy with the, with the crazy this is my property, get out, sort of stuff. There was like a little shack there that we just drove by and I didn't bother to look at it either. Maybe we should stop and look. And of course there's that ice cave back there that I died in last time. Um, but maybe now that I've got the winter coat, I can actually explore the ice cave. There's also that fucking shit with all the dead people, like in front of the stone. Remember that? I don't remember it. I don't, I don't know if there's something I needed to do there or what, but okay. Out we go! We have to reinvestigate this place because last time I came out here, I don't know if you remember, but I didn't know what the hell I was doing. And now I have more of an idea of what I'm doing, I think. Okay, here we go. Some more ice. Let's take a nice Pikachu of this. Perfect. We'll keep that Pikachu. And let's see if there's anything like up here. Oh, look, there's wolf tracks. Okay, let me get my revolver ready just in case. But at the same time, like, maybe I don't need the revolver. Okay, let's follow the wolf tracks usually lead to something good, right? In most cases. So let's follow these wolf tracks. Oh, look. Look who it is! It's Unwolf! What's he doing? He's just sitting there. Is this a friendly wolf or is this one going to attack me? Okay, I'm not taking any chances. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get my revolver ready. Where's my equipment? Okay, let me get the revolver. Okay, now let me take a shot at this wolf. Ready? Steady, Carl. Good shot. Good shot. There. Now you go. And don't bug me again. Okay. I got an achievement for being a nature lover, apparently. I think the wolf was trying to get me to look down here. He was just sort of standing there looking. Ah, yes, of course. There's like a grave down here, and what looks like some sort of fortress or something? Oh shit! What's the this? Blood. And the shape of the hole in the ground left no room for death. Someone God. had been buried here. Someone Somebody whose life had been taken with blunt force. Where was the body now? Why God. had it been buried? Only Damn. to be dug up later. Yeah, Carl right. Felt as though he was shrouded in fog. Okay, and there's also a little thing here. Okay, we have a new journal entry for that. It looks like this is like an old campfire. We can start a fire here if only I had one log, which I do not have currently. We can break the fence with the crowbar as well. Okay, let's break this fence open and see. Oh. Okay, it's starting to get pretty grim. What is this? It's like some sort of... Nature trail? Have you ever been on one of these before? Like on a bike or whatever? Like at Center Parks? Have you ever been to a place called Center Parks before? Oh, I see. It's leading over to this, like, satellite dish or something? Secret project. Ah, uh, maybe this is to do with Hamilton or something? Or maybe it's something to do with the Patriot? Large antenna in the middle of the path. Undoubtedly ideal in attempting to communicate with little green men. 
was quite awkwardly placed. Yeah, it there is had awkward. There to be a lever to control it, maybe behind it. Carl would have to figure out how to reach it. Oh, I can. I've already figured it out. Not to worry. Look, you just a quick hop, skip, and a jump up here. Come on, game. Let me up. Okay, possibly not. Then I think maybe we have to follow this path up to. There's, there's definitely a lever behind it. Oh my god, this is nuts. Somebody is just gonna burst out of nowhere and scare me. Maybe, could be, it might be a clown. I'm just warning you. If you don't like clowns, now might be that. There's a bike here. Who left a bike here? And look, there's a backpack full of stuff. It's like a pair of jeans in there. What the hell? Okay, now, let's do the, the lever. Wonderful. We should now be able to, okay, perfect. What the, the hell is this? Appear to be linked together. But for what purpose? Yeah, right. What the fuck so is this? That's where the generator key was hiding. All that was left was to use it. Open. Open, open, open. The generator key. I I don't think I have that yet. There's these things too. Is that Wait. Which way do we have to So we've done Minus and plus, so that means that plus has to be this side, and then minus... Wait, that can't work, though. But it has to go, like, in a square? That's minus and plus, so that could be fine. But then the plus would have to go... Did this work? Wait, let's get the minus over to this side. Is that better? What the fuck is this? What on earth? <laughs> what do I do? Okay, we can open it. But we have to, like, solve this puzzle, I think, first. Maybe we have everything that we need for this. Maybe not. I, do I don't get this, though. Like, why are these ones straight? They don't seem to... Is it, like... Do you have to, like, terminate it or something? Is that what it's for? Pew! Maybe we just have to, like, pew, pew, pew! Maybe we have to, like, shoot something from the satellite. That'd be good, right? Okay, so that has to be plus. And then this has to be plus, and that's... Wait, no, that can't work. That has to be plus? Is that right? Plus. Wait, no, that's not even pointing at anything. What the fuck? Okay, so that's plus into... Maybe this has to be minus? Maybe that has to be plus. Maybe this has to be minus. Minus. And then it has to go maybe minus again. Is anything happening? This music is all nuts too. What's up with this music? Okay, what's what's this one here? This is a plus. And then it has to go into what? A plus? A plus plus. Okay, we'll put that into the plus. Plus plus. Um, and then this one is gonna be what, minus? Or wait, is that plus? Oh shit, it's not even... What do I do? Okay, maybe we have to see... Okay, so that's hooked up... This is... It's all hooked up centrally. Okay, so... The red one... Oh, I see. Maybe it's... It corresponds to... Okay, so this green one is attached to where exactly? The green one goes all the way over here and attaches back to here. Okay. So let's say that we want to have... On the green, we want to have a plus... And what is that a minus? What did I? Uh, no, that's minus and minus. So that would have to be a plus. And then on the blue one, we got minus going into. Where does the blue one hook into? Here. Okay. Does the blue one hook into all of these? Yeah, they do. Oh, this is gonna be fucking brutal. How do I figure this out? Oh, I see. It's the blue on this side. Wait. Or is it the blue on this side that goes all the way down here and here and to here? Okay, so that has to be plus. Okay, so this one goes like this, plus. Okay, plus. So now plus should correspond to plus there. And then minus here. So this one goes around here, it curls around, it comes over to here. And this has to be minus, apparently. Minus. Okay, did that work? Plus and minus? No, it didn't. 
But then, what's this thing at the top? Where does that hook into? What's coming down? Oh, fuck me! Okay, maybe we need some more clues or something. There might be some more clues, like, over here. Okay, let's go over here and see if we can find more clues, and then we can always come back to this after. Western Atamipec. Oh, shit, the bridge is out. Of course, okay. So the bridge is out here. All right, we have the satellite dish, which we moved. And then we have to figure out how to get into this generator room. Uh, for, for God knows what reason. I don't even know, like, what the fuck is that generator even doing? What is this generator even hooked up to? What, the whole town? It can't be. Where does the... Okay, it goes to there. But wait. Ah, oh, fuck me. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, fine. We know that this is here now. Let me check my journal. Okay, let's see. Okay, the Hamilton Manor. No, okay, that's fine. The young woman... Hamilton's, there's the, there's this, the young woman. Who's this young woman? I'm no doctor, but I know flesh blood when I see it. Someone bled profusely in this, this office less than two days ago. Nothing weird about that, unless. Oh, look, okay. The young woman possibly was buried in this grave as well. Further north, we need to find another way. I need a warm coat, we got that. Guns and ammunition I still don't have. A proper mode of transport, I, apparently I don't have. My car won't do. Find out how to get rid of the big wall of ice that came out of nowhere. Okay, we still have a lot of things to figure out here. We're still looking for these crossbow things as well. What the hell? Hang on a second. Why is skipping so many pages? Okay, and then we have all the Carl Faubert as well. Okay, so further north, the young woman, Hamilton's murder. An open grave, I'm scraping any animal related hypothesis there was a I'm scrapping sorry there was a human body here this is the moth's land so what does he have to do with this who was buried here okay Hamilton's murdered two out of three there's the communist ties and stuff Gilles Lachance went to the doctors now I need to know if the doctor saw Gilles I know how to lead the perfect investigation Hamilton's murder okay we still have a lot of loose ends to tie up I think before we can do anything here and maybe we'll find something else out here that will somehow tell me how to do that thing because I mean I don't know how to fucking do that thing you know me and puzzles like they're not my they're not my forte they're not my forte at all did I miss anything like on wow there's a lot of bolts on oh shit check it out I did miss something look I missed all of this good stuff one times fire starter possibly anything here no okay all right we have to go back to La Moth's garage, I guess, and figure out what's going on there. Oh yeah, and there's also that key that was like buried into that, in that little fucking thing next to a garage, but I can't remember which house that was at. Plus, I also shot a wolf with my revolver. That felt good. Maybe that'll come back to bite me in the ass one day though. Like maybe it'll turn out that the, the wolf is like the spirit of Hamilton or something. He'll be like, well, you can kiss your discount goodbye now, Sonny Jim. You shot me! In wolf form, of all things, you fucking animal. What were you thinking? You know what I mean? Like, maybe now we'll never get a discount at Hamilton's ever again because of that berserker outrage that I fell prey to. Goddamn. Okay, anyway, let's move, we'll work our way down here. It looks like there's a gap in the fence here. It's nice. Okay, it's Lamoth's garage. Okay. I hear footsteps. Is it footsteps or is it the music? Can't tell. Okay. He's in here. Another worrisome victim of this ice. This yeah. one seemingly petrified in action. He's the petrified. The poor man, before being frozen solid, seemed to have been defending the entrance to his cabin. But for right. what? I came in here and somehow I didn't notice that he was building a fucking spaceship? Why did I not look further? He's got, look at this, he's got a drawer full of knobs here, too. And he sleeps out here. Ugh. Something isn't right when your bed is in your garage. He's been reading this magazine. The very first steps of man on the moon were made more than a year ago. The event wow. had surely captivated the mechanic's mind for him to still keep this around. Yeah, right. He really is obsessed with going to space, it turns out. Is there anything I can grab from here? Is anything lighting up? He's got a lot of supplies here. Lots of potatoes. He's got a whole bunch of potatoes in here. It looks like he's got some clothes. Women's clothes, it's gotta be said. Um, and what's all this? 
Old gas cans. Got a whole bunch of, and some coloring crayons as well. What the hell? Okay, apparently we can repair this spaceship, which sounds good to me. I would love to do that. Homemade flying saucer. Life never ceases to amaze me. Okay, let's repair the spaceship. Right. Spaceship has been repaired, hilariously. Um, it looks like it's trying to... It was an indisputable fact that machines like this entailed a level of intellectual finesse that Carl was lacking. I took the headlight, though. Um, I guess... I guess that's all we can do. Like, we can't do... What does he have in here? Ugh. Some bolts and stuff? Green milk for little green men? What's all this green milk? Man, this guy was nuts! This guy was totally nuts! This guy was crazy! Wait, did we not do this yet? Oh, I guess we didn't. Here he is. Working on his... On his prize-winning spaceship. What was that? What the hell? Okay, now he's over here, apparently. Hello? Oh, shit. Did a fire start? Oh, oh, I see. The fire started. He's trying to get out. He knocked over a lantern or something. Now there's a bunch of shit happening, and... And now what? Oh, look, the cold is, like, seeping in. Oh, he's been blasted by the cold! Oh, that did it, look! What the hell? Alright, that is fucked up. So that's him, now, dead. And me stuck as, as well, apparently, because I, I'm, like, stuck in this crazy-ass world of his. And I can't get out. Hello? How do I get out? Maybe I have to pick up some of these cans or something? Do I have to, like, try to go out here? Where- where the fuck do I go now? I can't see shit. Maybe if I just go, like, all the way- Oh, what's this? Oh, it's the broken glasses and stuff. There's a window over here. God, it's so dark I can't see shit. Maybe I go into his spaceship? Dear game! Please, where do I go now? I can't get out of- Oh, it's up here, I see. What's this? It's a bucket or something. He's pointing at a bucket up there. And now, there's a handprint here as well. I can open this. Oh, journey in the hereafter. Something very important must have been in there for the man to take such time and effort to hide it. But Carl didn't know how to reach it. Oh. Okay, how the hell do I reach that? Maybe I can shoot it down with my revolver. Or maybe there's a way up top that I can do it. Okay, let me try opening this. Can I climb up here or something? Oh yeah, there's like a little gap there. Okay, how am I gonna get up on top of this? Maybe like, maybe I can just go like up here. I can jump hilariously. But not high enough to get up here. Okay, maybe there's another way. Oh, here we go. I need that. Oh, maybe up- maybe back here I can get up. It looks like I have to get on the roof somehow. Oh man, this is kind of cool! I like this! I like this a lot, actually. This is neat. What's this? Oh, it's like a- okay. I don't know how I'm gonna get up here, actually. Oh look, he's got a snowmobile here, too. Had a hunch that there had got to be a plan somewhere that could help him put this thing back together. Nice! Maybe this is the better transport that I need. Why did I not look around this guy's place at all last time I came here? I'm crazy. I'm- I- You can certify me right now, I'm nuts. What the hell? Hamilton, je ne serai plus votre chien. That means, Hamilton, I will no longer be your dog. That's what he's saying. I got a snowmobile ski here. Nice. The music is nuts. What's up with this music? Look at this guy's place. This guy lost his fucking marbles big time. Okay, he's got a hammer here as well. Oh, maybe I can use this hammer for something. Maybe I can like hammer together a ladder or something and climb up on top of the garage and get to there. What's this? 
Bombardier Parts Manual. Manufacturer's Manual, page one. In the dark, it is recommended to use a flashlight or lantern. Okay, that's good. Thank you very much, Manufacturer's Manual, page one. Suspension. This suspension has way too many parts. Taking a puzzle apart is easy, but putting it back together is another story. I patched everything up, but the tracks, I left them close by. Ski. Don't drink and work. Don't drink and work. Don't drink and work. I'm misplacing parts of the machine. Réjean came to help me work on the machine yesterday afternoon. For the most part, he helped me chug my bottles down to the last drop. I think we tried to ski or something. Bad idea. I still haven't found that one ski we lost in the process. Okay, so there could be another ski like out in the middle of nowhere thanks to Réjean. Oh look, the tinfoil Weird hat stuff. as well. Kind of a crossing between a colander and a hairdryer. What was yeah. it for? To play telepath? No, to protect he's... against nuclear waves? Yeah, he's nuts. He went crazy. Tinfoil hat is the giveaway. Follow up on a complaint. Dear Roswell, Mr. Lamoth. Atamipak. Same story. Large deserts conducive to extravagant follies. Following up on your complaint, I'm afraid that the police cannot support your claim alleging the sudden appearance of a man who came from outer space on your village's territory. Manifestly, what happened at Roswell in New Mexico left a deep impression on you, and we would urge you to consult with a physician as soon as possible. Regarding future potential complaints, let it be known that the du Judicial District of Abitibi does not believe in little green men. Regards, Pierre Vergeon, Clerk Sûreté du Québec. Nice. Wow, okay. So he was complaining about uh, extraterrestrials landing in his village as well. And apparently everybody was just like, hell no, that did not happen. Okay, are there any foot? Okay, they went skiing apparently, so we're looking for potentially a missing ski. They did some drink, heavy drinking, and possibly some heavy skiing as well. And we have to go and maybe find this missing ski, because they were fucking around. Mowing the lawn is unnecessary at this time. Absolutely. Okay, they might have been doing some drinking here. We got a bench. Why did we take a bench? Carl hadn't lived up to his good finder reputation. He still hadn't found any of the wealth contained in Lamotte's lands. No. I'm still looking for the wealth that is contained in his apparent lands. What's this? Colors are always welcome in a monochrome world. Uh, that's true enough. True enough. Okay. Let's see, what am I missing now? It must be just missing one ski for the for this for this. By following the plan, Carl was oh. led to believe that the snowmobile's parts had to be scattered about in the vicinity. Okay, look, I placed okay, I need a track. The bench is on though. Okay, maybe there's something inside this toilet or in this bucket, or maybe on this couch with with this stuff. Maybe they were using this as like a ski jump or something. No, okay, I don't think they were because actually down there is just water. One of them might be dead. Maybe, maybe Réjean got in an accident and maybe Lamoth was trying to bury his body to, to cover up the drinking accident. These guys were drunk as hell, right? Like they were out here drinking, probably talking about aliens and stuff, getting all carried away and shit. And then next thing you know, boom, somebody's dead. It happens all the time. Trust me, I know from experience. A couple of times, me and my buddies, that happened to us as well. And now, rip, my buddies are dead. But I still live to tell the tale over and over and over again. And it hasn't affected me at all, except for sometimes when I break down crying. And I don't know where I am, and I smell like poop as well. And the milk more green milk like here. From the whitest to the greenest. Or in other damn. Words, from the freshest to the sour. Fuck me, okay, and how the hell do- how do I get up here now? We're missing the ski thing still. I'm gonna figure this out. Okay, we can swing the hammer. Maybe we can swing the hammer at a bucket. No. No, you can't. What's this thing? Ouch. <laughs> I, uh, might have just hit myself in the knee with the- oh, what's this crap? It's like carrot juice? Too many orange juice bottles. That's a lot of orange juice. So maybe he was just here drinking orange juice all the damn time. I'm not sure about that. I don't think anybody should be drinking that much orange juice. A little bit, yes, but not too goddamn much for Pete's sake. Okay, well, we're gonna have to have a look around, see what we can find. Um, we'll do that next time when we come back. Um, so join me then for a um, snowmobile repair exercise. Uh, we're gonna go around, 
We're gonna look around Lamuth's lands. We're gonna try to find all the pieces for the snowmobile. Hopefully test drive that baby as well. I think we're gonna need it. And then we'll uh, try to uncover some of the other mysteries that surround this uh, crazy place. Uh, but so far, so good. It's, uh, it's exciting. I like it a lot. Excellent. Well, as usual, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time!